Hi, my name is Maria Elisa Ayerbe, and today I'm here to bring you the latest features in the new update of Gold Clip presented by Schwab Digital. Let's check it out. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at those preferences that we were talking about. Um, well, first off, right off the bat, when you open up the plugin and it's defaulted, you're going to find new buttons in the screen. Some of them are really exciting. And to me, this is uh, coming from a really nerd place. I love the fact that now you have a question mark over here that will basically, it's a help button every time you hover um, on top of a plugin parameter or button or whatever, you will find an explanation. And I think this is really great because um, sometimes when you're new to a plugin, you don't really know what the plugin is doing, but at the same time, you don't have the time or, or are not a fan of, of like reading manuals, like instructions. So this is a great way for uh, the people over Schwab Digital to tell us what's going on with the plugin. Uh, you're going to find that the preferences are now in this pretty cool section and it becomes really important because there are some cool features that people were asking for it and they're now found finally available. Oversampling, so you can do oversampling in real time and offline with three different options when you click. Um, you got real time, high, pristine, and extra pristine and offline same options. So um, if we hover over here, high, it's gonna do 4X at 44 and 48 and up to in 2X to higher frequency, uh, sample frequencies. Uh, pristine 8 and 4, extra pristine 16 and 8. So this is great. However, uh, it can be a little bit demanding on your DSP, especially not when you're running it over uh, just one track, like the session that I've got right here, but when you're running it as um, the final plugin on your mix bus, for example, you're, you're if you are running a, a mix session with a bunch of other stuff. So this is really cool because now you can choose to listen to high um, real-time oversampling and then what, when you process, you can choose extra pristine. Either way, it sounds great. Uh, and I'm so happy that this function is finally available. Also, and this is cool as well, you have two types of phase because um, this plugin is meant for you to use it. Uh, either wet 100%, meaning that it's going to have a serial processing, the plugin and the entire signal is going to run through it, or you can do a blend. Minimum phase has better transient response, but at the expense of some phase rotation in the high frequencies. So when using minimum phase and the parallel mixer, the phase rotation of minimum phase oversampling can cause a slight phase shift when summing with a dry signal. On the other hand, linear phase does not have any phase rotation, so it sums perfectly with the dry signal. However, linear phase can sometimes cause extremely minimal reduction in the perception of transients. I generally stick to linear phase for most situations, but often check minimum when I want something to have increased transients. So this is awesome. The clip guard, which was already there, but again, uh, it's been repurposed and then added some new, new cool buttons. Clip guard, you want to use it when um, especially when you're using the plugin to add a lot of loudness and it's the last in your in your chain before the, the signal goes out in, to your interface, uh, you don't want to go over zero dBFS that will create uh, digital distortion. So the clip guard on, it will allow you to prevent that. And, and it's great because it's going to run really smoothly. It's not going to really alter your sound. Like it's it's got a great sounding um limiter in there that it's preventing that from happening. We got a waveform display on and off. This was uh, requested by some folks because again, as you're running this, uh, or maybe you're not using it as your mastering plugin, but you're also adding it as a clipper for your drums or whatever you're feeling creative with this plugin, uh, you can do multiple things, then you might as well sometimes be overloading your DSP so you can just turn it on and off or if it's just too distracting, you just want to listen with your ears, right? Not with your eyes, um, then this is a great feature as well. This little button right here is a low pass filter on the clipper. So it was originally on by default, but it was tucked away in the settings page. 
Now they've moved it to the clipper button for quick referencing. I often turn the clipper on when I want to do extreme clipping and off for general purpose work. Other things that were added as well when uh, before, like if you if you open it cl or close the session, like the preset state from A to B wouldn't wouldn't remain. So now this is pretty cool. Now it does. So for example, if you're adding like this preset for uh, your A and then this preset for your B, and then you close up uh, and open back up the session, then you will find the same A to B. So now it's like you're still indecisive on whether you want one or the other. It doesn't have to be a preset. You can actually create states A and B when you custom click on other stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. This will remain and then and then like you don't need to make a final call, which I think is pretty cool. Also like now if you add preset names over here, like you create your own custom stuff, those one will get saved. Again, although the the entire thing is getting more and more customizable, also pretty cool that Schwab is listening to you guys. They're getting all their feedback, and this is really making the plugin just sound and look awesome. So thank you for that uh, to Schwab, and um, we'll be shooting some videos testing the new stuff. So join us for our next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.